Hello and welcome to episode 20 of my Portal Knights tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on making an alchemy table and board of protection. Then we can take a look at what we can make on the alchemy ta table and what benefits the ward of protection will offer us. And yes, I did completely bypass the alchemy table when I was creating all the different workbenches. Um, the reason for that, the only logical reason I can find, is that because potions were listed here, I didn't give it a second thought. I just thought this was only the only. Uh, I thought that was it. I didn't even stop to see in the workbench list alchemy table I just missed it so that's what we're gonna do start with to create the alchemy table you need just four copper and four refined wooden blocks now if you've only got uh, wood wooden logs then on the drafting the workbench sorry at the end here you can make refined wooden blocks just using your wooden logs so for every one you'll get two so that's how you get uh, the components that you're going to need All right okay so let's create an alchemy table use to brew potions and create all kinds of unusual items okay let's put that there and the alchemy table, you'll see I've, I've uh, used my hoe to remove all the grass because it's much easier to see around me then. I just prefer it like that. So let's put this there. Okay, if we take a look at the alchemy table, and of course it's going to be doing potions. So we've got here potion of swiftness increases your movement speed by 40% for 10 seconds yeah I've not really you never really have much room to run so but if you look down here this is what you need water and garden mushrooms so it's very easy to make next we've got magic damage protection flask reduces spell damage taken by 20% for two minutes you need five spirit and wheat. Well, I don't really bother with that because I'll just heal up. Potion of the Void. Characters can consume this potion will soon forget attribute points they have spent so they can redistribute them anew. And I've only got one of these in my storage, so but I don't want to reset my attributes. But if you did want to, then that's what you're going to need in order to do it. These energy crystals are rare at the moment, but I imagine they'll become quite commonplace as I progress. I think I've just got one, and I can't even remember where I got it from. So anyway, that's how you reset your stats. Water bomb, just needs four water. And down here is the potions that we see in the normal uh, workbench. So let's have a look at them because we've not actually looked at the potions yet. Starting with the minor healing potion. So that you just need water and two red berries. That restores 130 health. They're easy to get as you know. Regular potion. Water. Notice they're all using water at the moment. So always keep your stacks of water. And carrots. And that will restore 220 health. Which is actually very useful if you can remember to drink them. Which I don't. Then we've got the strong healing potion, and that's actually the potion I'm going to make some of. Um, you need palm fruit, which when you get to Angler's Wolf, you know because it's got the palm trees there, but Angler's Wolf is the best one, I've, in, in my humble opinion, is the best one to grow your palm fruits. Uh, if you click on it, you can see palm and, palm and fruit palms. So, and also potatoes, sweet potatoes we'll be needing. So, Angler's Wharf is where I'm going to show you I've been growing my plants. Okay, so that's to create these strong healing potions, which is very good, it restores 430 health. The trouble is, is, these take ages to get these palm fruits, and you don't get many of them, and it's six to make one of the potions. So, I'm only going to make a couple for demonstration. Mighty healing potions. Well, I haven't quite come across these glimmer berries yet, or blazing berries. 
But I guess I'll get there eventually. And that's 850 health. Okay, mana. So the minor mana potion is water and desert fruit. Yeah, that's easy to get. Regular mana potions. Sweet potatoes and water. And that's why I'm growing my potatoes. Because 400 mana is fine for the moment. Strong mana potions. Well, I've not got to frost lilies yet. And water. And then the mighty... I, funny enough, I have a load of blazing chilies, and I have sponsor rooms, so I can actually make these mighty mana potions. Um, I don't even know if I've got enough mana to actually need them yet. Um, actually, let's have a look. Where's my mana at? So I've got 500, so I don't even need them yet. I've only got 570 mana. So there we go, there's the um, alchemy table, but let's just have a quick look at upgrading it, because I have upgraded all my other benches. So to upgrade it, you need four iron and four refined wooden blocks. Well, I've already upgraded it. So let's put that in there, let's take that. So alchemy table two. Let's have a look at that. So that gives us these uh, new potions. Wisp in a bottle releases a magical wisp that follows you and shines with a green light for one minute. That's very, very useful, especially when you're doing a lot of caving. Armour flask, by 30%. Again, it uses the sweet potatoes. Oh, I think I've been growing the wrong potatoes now to do the other potions anyway. So, armour requires fire spirit and sweet potatoes. And you can get the mini bomb, which I guess does damage. I've got loads of these in the storage. I must get around to using them. To upgrade this bench to Alchemy Table 3 you need gold bars and refined wooden blocks. So we'll be on to gold eventually. Okay, next let's check out the Ward of Protection. So to make one of these we go to the work, uh, workbench and if we have a list down here under the work table under workbench 2, oh no, must be just a normal, here we go, yeah, so I've bypassed this, but I wanted to show it. So the ward of protection, places a magic ward of protection, activate it with portal stones of the correct colour, the activated ward prevents enemies from respawning in the surrounding area. So how useful is that? It requires four of these studded runestone blocks, and 12 runestone blocks. So I'm going to craft one. I have got one already, but I'm going to need a second one anyway. So let's put that there. And over here they keep spawning, and I don't want them to. So let's just put this here. And then you'll see that you need a shard of the right colour. The portal shard, that is. Alright, let's find... Now I've got to find some I've made. In fact, let's just make some. Out my pocket. Right, won't get that problem again. Okay, so we click it there. A line around your home you've drawn. Within it, new foes will no longer spawn. Well, how cool is that? We can't actually see a line. But if I kill these off, these creatures, OK, 
Okay, so we should notice now that uh, creatures no longer spawn here. Well, it's going to be night time soon, so let's see. It's nearly night. Let's see if any night creatures spawn here now. I can now actually expand this farmland but I don't actually need it to grow anything else here but if I wanted more land now I could expand this knowing that there's going to be no creatures spawning here alright so and there you go you see nothing spawned there they do spawn that side now so I could put another one down there, but what I want to use this other walled stone for is where I'm growing my potion ingredients. So if we have a look in here, you'll see I've got a load of sweet potatoes and a load of palm fruits. I've got them blazing chilies, which I don't need yet. I'm just going to collect them. Oh, we need water. Okay, so let's go to the alchemy table, potions, and so you can see that I can do these. I'm not going to use them all up, because I don't know if I need more. And, oh, so it is sweet potatoes, yeah, I thought I was right. So regular mana potions, that's why you want the sweet uh, potatoes. And that does 400 mana. How cool is that? So, I've now upgraded them, which I don't now need anymore, the miners. And from now on, I can use these regulars. And also these new health potions. My pocket is filling up slightly, but that's okay. See, these are very, very useful to have on me all the time, in case I need them. Let's just throw some of this stuff back. Well, oh, I'm taking it out when I should be putting it in. Right, okay, so let's see, and let's just go to my potion chest. Oh, I've got a couple. Regular. Str oh, I've got strong. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, so there we go. So there's potions I've collected. Right, so where do we get the ingredients for the potions that I've just been making? I'm going to drop a little more of this stuff in the chest and then I'll show you. What then I need? Oh, I don't need stone. Because I've got a feeling I'll be making loads of them wards, so I want to keep them close. Full up 50 of them, so I don't need any more. Right, okay, so in order to make them two potions that I've just made, namely the regular mana potion and the strong healing potion, we will go to Angler's Wolf. Remember, it's the palm tree, so we can grow fruit palms and potato fields
Now as you can see I've used my hoe, I've tilled the land around but you don't have much room to start with so there's my sweet potatoes, there's my palms palm trees they take absolutely ages to grow now these creatures keep spawning over here and I need more space to grow more palm trees because you only get very few palm uh, ingredients for the potions so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this board over here stop and keep spawning I think just there uh, this requires a yellow line around your home you've drawn within it new foes will no longer spawn and there's a teleport which I'm going to need to use so basically now once I've killed them off in fact let's kill them off now oh let's repair So what I'm hoping now is that they will no longer spawn close to where I want to grow the trees and I can hopefully start growing some here as well. But they do take ages to grow. And these are only about a quarter of their not of what they can grow to. So if you chop them down soon you won't get as many materials, you'll only get one seed. Whereas if you let them grow to full, like you can see one in the distance over there, that I believe is fully grown, yeah. That's what you're waiting for them to grow like. Can you see it up there in the top left? Let's see if I can get nearer. chop it down but it's going to go all over the place. Actually, I will because I want to show all the stuff it gives. Plus, there's a couple of electro quartz here, which wouldn't go amiss. So you see there we get the palm amber, the fruit palm seed, and three fruit palm fruits. If you let them grow to full height, you'll get three. You chop them down before they're full height, then I think you'll only get about one. Um, but the first thing I want to do is replant them seeds. The uh, quickest way to get back to my replanting is just use that. Right, let's throw down some seeds. How many did I get? I think I only got one. Yeah fruit palm seed. That's what we need. Let's put it there. 
Yeah, so I'm just waiting for all the... I've planted, really, I've planted loads. I mean, they're all over here and they're still in seed form, waiting for them to grow. They're ever so slow. Okay, the last thing I want to do in this episode is just upgrade my chest armor. And maybe my gauntlets. Okay, so I was looking at my armor and my gloves I need to do as well because look at that, it's only 10, it's only 10, 10 armor, but it does give me 20 health, um, which is I think the reason why I'm not going to touch the gloves in actual fact, because if I look at these unfallen elite gloves, they give sure enough 20 formal armor, but they don't give me any health. And I think I prefer the health over the dodge and resistance there. But what I do want to upgrade is my chest. Because if we have a look, that's giving me uh, 20 health and only 38 armor. Whereas if I go to the new one that I want to craft for me, 134 armor, 50 health and free earth resistance. So let's do that. I'm going to need one refined Verdant Emerald, Teeth and Fur. So, one refined Verdant Emerald. And there we go. Much, much better armor. And also more hit points. I'm trying to get to seven hearts. Because um, I'm still on only six. Right, okay, well, I'm going to end the episode there. It hasn't got to be a full 30 minutes. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I covered the alchemy table and that ward of protection. I'm going to make lots of them ward of protections around my teleports where I grow stuff on the different islands. Uh, in the next episode, we will take a look at a new island. Um, and I will be going to, just to show you. So, Angler's Wharf is level 12 that has got two portals but before that i want to go to the lower zone so if we went to brackenberg that's level 11 so i'm going to start doing the three portals there before angler's wharf so that's what we're going to do in the next episode we'll go to brackenberg and go to a new island wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye